You are an animal. A dirty, stinking, slimy git bag. The sort of scum that gives this place a bad name. That's why I've called you here today. You've impressed me, Leroy. Thanks, Slash. I think you're scum too. Oh, and don't try and get around me like that, because it won't wash, all right? Mind you, it's nice to see that someone appreciates my work around here. As you know, two of my best men last year, Masher and Basher, left to join the police force. What, Bash? Yeah, and Mash. Of course, cool, Slash. You trying to be funny? No, Slash. All right. Let's have a look at your file, then. Leroy Cooper. Nah, I have to change that for a start. I mean, I like the men in my outfit to have proper names. Clever ones. What, like Basher, Masher and Slasher? Yeah. <laughs> what about Lasher? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's got a nice ring to it, isn't it? I'll think about that. Right, then. Let's have a look. Detention last year, 27 times. Good. Parents down six times. Very good. Da -da. Ooh. Oh dear. Sent home only once, Leroy? Sorry, Slash. I, I tried, honest. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to try you out for one term, OK? But I'm warning you, you put a foot right and you're out. Thanks, Slash. I'll get sent home straight away, Slash. <coughs> What's this there? What's this there? Oh, go on, tell us, please. Meg! Have a look. Not bad. Get rid of these things. Meg! Thanks, Leroy. It's all right, Sam. Mrs. Vandergut, are you there? You spine! You imbecile! You are wet, you degenerate! Good, good. Good? Good for you, madame, in here, because we're not this time. No, Mrs. Vandergut, I can explain everything. You will not! You will not! Well, yes, of course, uh, uh, the key. Okay. Hang on a tick. I'll get the key. I will, my little mouth. God help you if he's come through in the arms. Uh, no, no, he's fine. Don't worry. It was a goal. No, it wasn't. It hit the post. Look, he's crying. Yeah, it sure hit him, but where? I think it hit him right in the gob and went wide. If it hit him in the gob, it would have come back, wouldn't it? Yeah, not if it was spinning, mate. No, I say it was a definite goal. No. If you keep saying that, I'm going to beat you in. Yeah, I want to see you. Come on, come on. Hold it right there. What's going on? It seems to be best to tell on Come on, guys. There's a boy lying up there, and you're busy arguing. Look at his glasses. Yeah. Sir's right. The right yeah. arm is busted. So it must have hit the inside of the goalpost and gone in. Yeah. Okay. I'll give up. Come on. On your feet. Here, give us a hand. All right, we'll trot him round. Hey, sir, come on with our goalpost. It's all right, Adrian. Plenty of that. <laughs> I think it's deformed his face. Nah, he's all right. Go on, run along, son. Don't you think we should report it or something? Nah, he's all right. Yeah, but don't you think... Look out! Look, you've got to be cruel to be kind. You can't protect them forever, you know. No, I suppose not. Don't look at me like that. There's bigger swines than me. Hello, Herbert. Just talking about you. Have you seen Ravens? Uh, no, I haven't. There he is. Slouching. Take his way out of it this time. See what I mean? Yes, well, that'll teach the swine to slouch. Sir, uh, sir, I, I've lost the pen, sir. Oh, Gillian, I think I just saw it up there. Thanks, sir. Sir, tell him. Right, Vincent, I'm telling you. Thanks, sir. <laughs> I hope when I'm a teacher, I'll be like you, Richard, and be able to deal with things. Look out. You will, you'll develop it. Doesn't take long. Well, it varies from person to person. Listen, Richard, I'm going to tell you something, and you mustn't repeat it, promise. You? What is it? Well, it's sort of hard for me to say. Well, go on, try me. I had problems in the classroom. Never. You're kidding. No, really, I do. And I'm worried I might not qualify. Not qualify? Just because you're incompetent? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Look, 
How can I help? Well, you know, if you could give me some tips. Yeah. Well, it's hard to know what to say. You see, it's all a sort of fluff. You're pretending all the time. What do you mean? Well, to start off, you pretend to like them. Even a real toe rag. Watch this. Hiya, Junior. Hiya, oh. sir. <laughs> you hit him and he let you. I pretended I was playing. That's how I get my own back. Aiky, you pretend to be their friend. All right, Doreen? Yes, sir. How's the worms? Nearly gone, sir. Good. See? Now you try. Okay, uh, Oh, Graham, hi. <laughs> How's things? Guess to. It was the way you said it. Look out! <laughs> Been here instead of stuck in the book, it's going to matter ages ago. Oh, I was born and over the coals for this. Ah! Say something, Paul. Oh, no, I think. Yeah, I think. Mm. Oh, I only hope she can breathe in there. I wouldn't about the counter die on us. Mrs. Vandekid! I'm coming, stop! Oh, thank God. It's had worries. You'll have plenty to worry about when I get out. How did you get in there, anyway? I'll ruin you! I'll have your guts for Colton. No, no, it's not my guts. It's Mr. Wickham's guts you want. And I'm only the secretary. Thank you very much. I'll remember that. What Hey, uh, fine, fine, settling in well. Uh, great little footballer here. You'd better not be lying. No, no, he's uh, just scored one with his head. Which one is it? For heaven's sake, it's obviously that one. Panic, panic, panic. Maybe me and some people have got where they are. Well, does it fit? I'm trying. Well, I don't think it does, well, you know. Well, it, for heaven's sake. I'm trying to. My it. God, just... you certainly don't need brains to be a headmaster. Now look what you've done. Uh, I've got it. We'll take the door off. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Sherry. Oh, Ernie, just in time. So I see. Uh, the thing is, Ernie, uh, Mrs. Vandergit has shut herself in the cupboard. And the problem is, there's a broken key in the lock. Listen, daddy -o, don't you go telling me my job. Sorry, sorry. Pathetic. Now, let's have a look. Yeah. There's your problem. There's a broken key stuck in that lock. Oh. Stanley, will you both go on down and fetch me my pliers? Get stuck. Bertrand for Chippy. Oh, would you mind asking Bertrand to fetch him? What time do you think it is, eh? You know he don't get back from the boozer till three. No. Terence? He's in a car, then. And I wish he'd hurry up, I'm Bertie. He's been in there an hour and a half. Well, that's it then. My lads are at full stretch. Somebody else will have to go fetch them. At last! Now you know what real work's like. <laughs> Look what it brings me. Never mind. Just makes my job harder. Now, let's see if we get this son of a gun out. There. Thank God. Thank God. Don't worry, Mrs. Vandergit. I'll have you out in a jiffy. This should do the trick. Ladies and gentlemen, your troubles are at an end.
the store cupboard. Oh, come under my foot. Now, Lucy, light work. Uh, you'd be able to see many... Okay, it's good for me, I know. ...of the things of which we're not. <laughs> Shut up! The school is finished! I'm dead! Oh, it's a sight! Catch me! Well, it wasn't me, mate. Oh, I'm upside down! Oh, who grabbed me? Oh! Oh! Ah! Paul, where are you? Dear Mrs. Van der Gitt, Many thanks for your charming letter and summons. Do you know, you use the same solicitors as our local sweet shop. Jolly good they are, too. How are you, anyway? I hope they're treating you well. You can't be too careful, you know. Some of these hospitals are nothing but a shambles. Also, when you're up and about again, don't let them fob you off with those old wooden crutches. You make sure you get a pair of those smart metal ones. And another thing, Please, please, don't worry yourself about smuts. One of our first years thinks he saw him running across the motorway only last Thursday. Rest assured, I'll remind the school to keep a lookout for him first thing Monday in assembly. Or if there's a lot of football results, Tuesday at the very latest. Anyway, moustache, as you well know, running a top comprehensive school doesn't leave much time for letter writing. Bye for now, write soon, all the jolly best. Ron. And there'll be more scandal from Hardwick House at half past eight tomorrow evening. <laughs>